from scratch. Yes. I have a degree in mass communications and theater. I went to Lander University. And um, from there, I honestly didn't get into radio right away. I was working in the banking field. I was doing makeup on the side. I was doing, I was all over the place, but I knew where I was going to be. So I was actually working a marketing gig for Google and 107.3 Jams was there. And I met with Latina, uh, who was the coordinator at the time for promotions. And I was like, hey, are you guys hiring? And she was like, yeah. Um, she was like, we were looking for a street team. And I was like, yo, I can do it. I said, look, I've been doing this for however long. First of all, that was a lie. That was my first day on that job. Um, <laughs> but guess what? You, you got to finesse your way in. You got to figure out how to get in there. You got to know how to have a mouthpiece. And anyways, where I uh, got the information, went up there to the station, waited an hour to have a uh, talk with Stephanie, set up an interview, got the job. She was like, you know, you're overqualified for this job, right? And I was like, so? I don't care. I said, girl, <laughs> this ain't my job. This right. is the door. <laughs> right. I'm either going to have your seat or either on the air. So <laughs> <laughs> you pick a choose. <laughs> right. Right. Love it. You know, um, so, um, yeah, that's how that ahead, started. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, and then um, after being in promotions, uh, you know, everybody's got that itch to get on air. You had it, you know. And um, I, at the time, I think Mary Kay was the PD, and I was like, yeah, I want to get on air. And she gave me some real advice. She said, learn how to do your job before you try to get another job. Yes. And a lot of people in the office took that and was like, ah, oh, why she don't want me to learn how to be on air? No, that's the truth. You got to know how to do this job to prove to yourself that you can go do the next job. So right. I said, right. But I'll always respect her for that. Um, I was like, you know, let's do it. So um, worked in promotions for a good, not even a year. And um, I think that's why the rule is there now, because me and Sheree got into promotions so fast and worked so hard. <laughs> Then we yeah. got on air that they now require people to be in promotions for a year before getting on air because uh, all the good people was going, you know. <laughs> yeah. so, um, then uh, Big Jewel, shout out to her. She was working with Tone Hollywood, Hollywood in the morning. And she was like, you know what? I just don't want to get up early in, anymore. And I was like, who don't? <laughs> girl, here I am. Show me how to do it. You want out, girl? I'm coming for you. Right. <laughs> oh, for you. I got you, boo. So she decided she wanted the different day part. And um, then that's when they moved me in. And then once Elroy got there, he was like, you know what? You're, it sounds like you're in and out of the show. You're not really a part of the show. So I was like, okay, let's do this. So they made me a more part of the uh, Tom Hollywood in the morning show. Um, working with Tom was amazing and learned so much. Yeah. And then um, a few years later, that's when they put Dex in and um, Tom moved over to 107.3 Jams and here we are. <laughs> here we are. We love to see you, girl. Um, but what, like, what, was, what was that moment? Like, take us to that moment where you're like, okay, radio is what I want to do. I'm good at this. I know I can, you know, be good in radio. Like, what was that moment for you that kind of um, hit? This is what honestly, I want to do. A lot of people don't know this. This is my first radio job. I've never worked in radio before. Wow. Ever. Killing it. So I had something to prove. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, yeah. a lot of people definitely doubted me, definitely doubted the brand. So I had something to prove. And they still have something to prove, to be quite honest. Um, but I knew I wanted to start in radio. This is not a finish for me. Mm -hmm. I knew I wanted to start in radio because the queen, Oprah, she started in radio. Yeah. And I said, you know what? You have to, oh, thank you, Jody. You have to know how to use your voice before you can go and face the world. Right. I want to be on TV. I want to be, you know, doing other things. Um, but I got to learn how to use my voice and my position here first. You know, radio is uh, a smaller scale of things. Um, so that's, that's where I want to start. And that's where I started. Yeah. Um, talk about getting past your comfort zone. Because I know you mentioned before, um, you were kind of shy, you know, growing up. So, like, how yeah. was that getting on air? You've been in the promotion. You're working your tail off and on street team. And then you kind of, you know, graduate to the top to getting on air. So what was that like getting past that comfort zone of being a little shy and kind of not knowing what to say or just, you know. 
liquid courage. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I honestly am still very shy. Uh, believe it or not, people think that I'm not, but it's a lot of layers that y'all don't even know about me yet. I mean, yeah. you know me because you know me, but yeah. um, it's a lot of things that I don't share on, on air or on social media. It's a lot, like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and so me helping me get through my comfort zone right now, honestly, is therapy. And knowing that the world will only know what I choose to share and um, being confident in what I share, being confident within myself, because this is a business where it's like all eyes like you people gonna judge you people gonna have stuff to say. I just have to be comfortable enough to one keep my mouth shut because I do have a slick mouth and I know that you know sometimes you just have to let people talk and just keep yeah. it. So, and speaking of that, oh I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. no, you can go. Go ahead. I want you to finish. Oh no, I was just gonna say. So it's it's just a it's a process. I don't think you ever get out of your comfort zone hundred percent. Like it's a growing right. thing. It's a nonstop thing. Right. So. Um, what I was going to say was speaking of just kind of like uh, sharing with the world what you want to share with it. Tell us about like being a black woman in radio, right? There's going to be a lot of stereotypes. There's going to be um, people waiting on you to say that one thing. So just so they can be like, Oh, I told you she was this, that, and the third kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, and how you kind of maneuvered through it and uh, kind of mastered it? Um, back to being comfortable within yourself. Mm -hmm. um, because, like, honestly, I um, I knew that I was going to be on Hot 98.1. Hot 98.1 caters to a certain audience that does not look like me. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. Because guess what? I grew up around a lot of people that did not look like me. That's the joy of being who I am and being a black woman and being the culture. And, um, you know, just, I love all people. I don't want to be just to one specific group of people. I'm right. I'm, I'm not for everybody, but I'm for everybody. If you, if you feel what I'm saying, like yes. everybody's not going to like me, but I am made for everybody. I can go sit with the poor, the rich, the, the, the whoever, it doesn't matter. Like mm -hmm. you have different views than me. As long as there's nothing that's, you know, extreme, I can right. deal with you. I can sit with you. I can I can converse with you. We can have, we can be cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I, yeah. I'm everybody. I just feel like I really never, growing up, like, I never saw color until I got older because I was forced to see it because of what America right. made me see. But right. um, it made me aware of things. But at the end of the day, I'm I'm here for everybody. That's why I love being on Hot 98 One. It's the melting pot of the upstate, you mm -hmm. know. So I love it. What's up, Jill? What's it like being Bobby T? <laughs> <laughs> if um, thanks y'all for joining. If you have questions for her, just drop them in the Q and A, and we'll get to them at the end. Um, and speaking of being for everybody, everybody, um, it's super important to connect with your audience, um, to know who they are. You know, who are you who you're talking to and stuff. So, how would you say? Um, being that they don't get to see you, especially now, but just in general with radio, like you're you're behind the mic, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You may go out go out to um, promo events sometimes. You may show your face then, but like, what is it like outside of promo events? Uh, connecting with your audience um, pre COVID and with COVID going on. Okay, so pre COVID, um, we would have of course events and stuff like that, remotes, live broadcast. Yeah. Okay talk to us and you know being at the clubs and being out and about in the community different events in the community I'm heavy with uh, community events and I love you know talking to the kids going out to schools and everything like that and yeah here recently um, you know due to the pandemic um, everything's kind of virtual doing stuff like this because um, yeah. I've done a couple of other things with other friends in different markets um, doing, you know, different little podcasts and stuff. Social media, we have a Facebook Live on High 98.1 every morning. So they, that's where they we really connect with our listeners as far as, you know, getting to actually talk to them and, you know, see them and, or they see us. But um, And uh, what else? Social media for sure, but our Facebook Live and just doing it. And now that, you know, we can go out a little more, uh, I pick and choose my, my events, you know, we do yeah. something, but six feet away. Yeah. <laughs>
Hey, Steven. I seen Steven in here. Hey, Steven. What's hey, up, Stevie? Um, hot in the one crew. Woo -woo. Um, I love that, like, how authentic you are. You've been in radio for some time now, and I've known you for a very long time. <laughs> Sis without the blood. Um, <laughs> uh, but talk about just like being authentic. I know you said you have to be confident, but talk about being authentic in your platform because I think it's so easy for uh, people to get to these levels and grind to the top and they kind of become big headed and have this ego attached to them. Um, and, I, and being as you are so authentic, I want you to talk about just staying and remaining in that. Um, the, I'm glad you asked that question because uh, I, you can ask Dex, like he'll even tell you it's hard for me to fade the phone. It's really yeah. hard. You read it on my face. Yeah. <laughs> and you can hear it come through my voice. But for one, um, I think it's really important to stay true to who you are, your beliefs, and what you will and will not put up with or what you won't do, whatever. Um, but I, one thing that really caught my attention was last night, like literally last night, I went to Gringo's to see Aunt Dizzle and everybody, it was all over with or whatever, but the, the bar staff, shout out to Pam, Pam, I mean, they were really boosting me last night, telling me how much they love the show, and I appreciate them. But one thing that really stuck out with me was the fact that she said that she loves that how real I am and how I um, just being relatable. Because yeah. regardless of who calls in and says what, I'm going to tell you what I feel. Um, it's, it's, there's no fake. The fo I can't fake it. Like it, it's. Yeah. I mean, it, it just comes out how it is. And I love the fact that, and it just reminded me that there's things that I go through. I feel like in life, God puts me through certain situations so I can go through them and understand people that call into my show, understand their point of view of life and also give guidance and, and maybe motivate somebody else that's going through something that I'm going through. So... Right. What's up, Will? <laughs> but um, I, I think that's that's why you have to be so authentic and real. Um, and it, there's there's more layers to me than so many people know. Um, so hopefully I'll be shedding those layers back because I just had like this spirit come over me and just the other Sunday I just had this talk with God. Like, I don't know. I know what I'm supposed to do, but I don't know why I'm going through certain things in this season right now. Yeah. But whoever needs the blessing of what I have to say, oh, oh, take heed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's really important to to be who you are. That's I think that's one of our major powers that everyone has. Like no one can say they don't have a power because your power is being who you are. I mean, mm -hmm. I can sell lashes and you can sell lashes, but the difference is we aren't the same. There's different ways to go about it, and branding and the content we put out and however we sell them the item. So, or, and just generally speaking, it's just super important. Um, you mentioned guidance. So talk about the importance of helping those uh, get to where they need to be. Cause I know it's with us, like I said, those who are in here, me and Barbie have known each other for a very long time. She's like a big sister. And she actually helped me get my foot into the door, in the door uh, to radio. And I started in promo and promo and what even thinking about it. Like she was like, Oh, just, just come do us for the summertime. And I'm like, all right, cool. And here I am on air. So talk about the importance of, um, helping people you know helping them get to the top oh absolutely um uh, you are only your values only like your network your net worth is your network like helping the next person helps you like i don't understand why some people especially women some people would rather not help the next person get to the next level because of whatever because of jealousy because uh, their insecurity because they are scared to do it, whatever it is. Yeah. I just never understood that because it's like you go and help the next person, you're going to get that blessing tenfold. You're going to get that back. That energy is going to come back to you regardless. Like that's why I, I tell people like, I don't worry about people who do me wrong. I don't. I used to. Yeah. I used to want to get back at them. But success is definitely, you know, that that's that's the best revenge and yeah. like you just have to remain like you just have to be confident in who you are like i told somebody before it's either you got it you don't it's either you a star or you're not 
Right, right. So why would I be scared to put you on? I know who I am. I'm Barbie T. Period. I'm not scared to put Karina on. You know why? Because that's, yeah. she's a part of me. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's my seed right there. Yeah. I see you in me. You, you've been around me for, since you've been in elementary school. So I already see that in you. You're going to go higher places. And I'm, you may go farther than whoever. You may be the next Oprah. And I may need a job one day. Shit. <laughs> you know, right you never know, you know it just grows you take care of people and that'll come back that will come back god in the atmosphere whoever you believe in that will come back to you and you will be taken care of and it's just it's just a part of being a decent human being why wouldn't you want to see the next person blossom and right. even when it comes down to your haters when it comes down to people that don't even like you y'all i pray for people that don't like me I do, because for one, I don't even know why you don't like me. Whatever it is, okay, cool, that's your problem. But I'm afraid that you get blessed because when hey, your people that don't like you, when they're blessed, they don't bother you. Mm -hmm. They're out the way. I want you out my way. So I pray that you get blessed. So you get the hell off. <laughs> Come on, girl. Give us the word. Honey, I, take, I hope y'all taking these uh, gems down, boo. I hope you are. More to come. Hey. Um. So one of the things I remember you telling me uh, at the radio station was out of sight, out of mind. And we know what that means, right? But I want you to just kind of give a general explanation of out of sight, out of mind. And I know it can apply more to, well, it can apply to more than um, just your career. Um, yeah. That's so, something that has stuck with me. So go ahead and share that. So, and I got that from Big Brother Tone Hollywood. Tone yes. Hollywood told me, he told me, he said, listen, Listen, the reason why he was like, you, everybody's been asking about, this is when I started promotions. He was like, the reason why everybody's been asking about you because you offer yourself. He said, continue to do that. He said, it's people that's been in here, been in your position for 10 plus years, been in radio for 10 plus years and still ain't moved a dime because out of sight, out of mind. They just work there, but they're not working. They're not putting forth the work. They're not letting people know, hey, I'm available. I did that. He said, out of sight, out of mind. If you stay inside, you stay, keep working, you stay available, you stay on your grind, they see it. So don't ever think that, you know, you're working, you're doing your job, you think nobody sees your hard work. You think nobody's noticing how good you are at this one task or at these multiple tasks. Oh, no, baby, they see it. Yeah. So that's why I'm, I'm never worried about that. Like, I always keep that in my head out of sight out of mind if you want to be seen you got to be seen you got to put yourself out there right so right. out of sight out of mind if they don't see you they're not going to remember you they're not going right. to think of you so and, and, it, and it still works to this day to this mm -hmm. day because i felt like that before and something else came through it was like hey you're ready and i said you know what i know y'all watching <laughs> <laughs> she ready she ready <laughs> and that applies too to to more than just like your career that's if you're building a brand and now you know COVID going on, you have to you have to utilize social media to the the biggest and the you know best way you can that that applies to so much more if you're not like if i wasn't doing these i know i've been slacking a little bit but you know life okay but you know if i'm not doing these consistently out of sight out of mind people are going to forget they're not going to remember what kicking it with karina was or whatever oh i forgot she was doing that i forgot she was even on social media so it applies to more than just your career it you really can apply it anywhere in your life honestly anywhere in your life if you want to see if you like i have a goal okay one of my goals is to be on the front page of a magazine whether it's around in this area if the local magazine don't want to buy, deal with me, that's fine. I that's will fine. find Essence. I will go find Cosmopolitan. Somebody, I'm going to be on it. My brand is going to be on that thing. Like, we are going to do it. You know what I'm saying? That is a goal of mine. And I'm going to make it happen. So I'm going to place seeds and plant seeds where I need to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put myself and my show, Dex and Barbie T, all in their face. <laughs> like, you're not going to... I'm going to be embedded in the mind. We yes. are visual creatures. Mm. You need to oh, see girl. it all the time. Always put your brain out there, no matter what it is. Yes. Yes, honey. So Tone dropped that good gem, gem on you. What are some other like lessons you learned uh, throughout radio? Um, keep your cool. 
<laughs> my show. The my show ain't know about that one. <laughs> hey, my show. <laughs> the my show know about that one. Learning how to keep it cool. I almost let somebody <laughs> take me out my character and out my element and out my career. Mm -hmm. So I had to learn to keep my cool. I had to learn how to keep my mouth shut and how to how to say and I had a reminder to say, you know what? Ain't nobody checking for you. They checking for me. So you trying to get me mad? You want me to beat you up, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you like I'm grown. <laughs> I am from Spartanburg, like but you know what? God is good. It's a little. <laughs> He is good, honey. What would you say, um, you've been in radio for seven years. What would you say, like, has most changed about you? Like, what have you learned about yourself uh, from then to now? Um. Oh, gosh. I learned. What, I know, that's a deep question. I'm sorry. <laughs> learned about myself personally or about myself career-wise? Um, both. Okay. Personally. Let's, you, you can do personally first. We want to get to know who Barbie is. <sighs> Sure. Um, personally, I've learned about myself that I am a very strong woman. I am very empowering. I am very powerful. My when I tell you the power of the tongue is real, girl. That's why I try to, and I notice that in myself, um, and I try to correct myself because we all have those thoughts that are not good. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But you got to snap. You got to correct it. You yes. know what I mean? So. Because the power of the tongue is so real. I've spoken everything in my life. Like, I manifest. I, I need to call myself the manifest queen because I manifest. When I tell you I manifest, I manifest. And I pray and I, I, I do it. I do it. I do it. Yeah. It's happening. And, and, sometimes, and sometimes I just speak things without even thinking about it. And then something happens to remind me of what I spoke. And God is like, that needs to happen. Mm. Here's your reminder. Keep going. Let's go back to that plan right there. Because she got value. That one right there. That's the one. It's definitely going to happen. It mm. is. And so much more is going to be with that. So. Yeah. Well, tell us about like manifestation. Right. It's a mm. lot of different ways you can do it. You can write it down. You can do, you know, speak it. You can pray, pray over it, meditate over it. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I'm still trying to learn how to like, manifest a lot of things and put the belief behind it so mm -hmm. um how does barbie t manifest what are your ways of doing that my manifest is um your tongue speaking it number mm -hmm. one you can ask anybody that worked with me at bbnt um uh, from the years where was i working there uh i don't even remember when i graduated college to 2011 that in that area mm -hmm. Anybody that worked with me, all my coworkers will tell you that I told them, my name is Barbie T. You will address me as such. <laughs> I'm not going to be here <laughs> at long. Uh -huh. I will be on Hot 98.1. And I get, you could ask Terrence. I don't know if he in here. You could ask anybody in that office. You could ask my old boss, the boss that walked me out of that office the day I got fired. You could <laughs> ask any day, any one of them. I told you my name uh -huh. is Barbie T. And you're going to see me on this damn TV screen. And you're going to hear me. Period. I think she had a call. There you go. My grandma you called me. It's okay. <laughs> but hey, yes, but I'm for real. I'm so serious. Like, the power of your tongue is real. If you want it, you speak mm. it. And like Ariana Grande said, I want it, I got it. I'm going to yeah. get it. I'm going to be that billionaire Barbie that you talk about from Spartanburg, South Carolina. I've got it. It's already in there. So you yes. can get it or get gone. And I know it's going to happen for you. <laughs> look at look at all this passion coming through, honey. You are speaking it. And I know you feel it. I know you have that belief behind you. I'm ready to see it. You, um, what? Tell me about where Barbie T came from. Where did that name from? come from? Barbie the, T, yeah. Oh, the name. Ciao. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the the Barbie T name came from okay it's so weird how I got the name so okay I'm gonna tell the story it's so weird but anyways I was in my dorm with these girls that I used to this apartment we lived together Sherry and Jalisa Jalisa was Juicy J Sherry was cover girl and we always coming up with roommate names you know what I'm saying you know how you do 
Yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, I don't know what I want to name myself. Because I think Sherry's a math comm major too. And so we had to come up with radio names and all, you know, different stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, all right, first it was Brown Sugar Barbie. Because I love Barbie. Like I said in the beginning, I've always thought the world of Barbie and the brand because she can do anything. And, uh, and it's just so empowering for women and little girls to know that you can do any and everything. Hello, we got a vice president that's a woman. Okay, but we won't go there right now. But um, I don't know. You can do anything. So I just wanted to have that message tagged along because that's who I am. And I know I can do anything. Jack, a queen of many trades. Okay. And so I said, first I was brown sugar Barbie. I was brown sugar Barbie at first. Then <laughs> I changed the uh, Barbie tea. But in the back of my mind, yeah, I knew I wanted that doll brand or whatever. My my homeboy Terrell Murray, back in the sixth grade, I remember one day he he told me I look I was looking like a little Barbie doll, and that's when that song <laughs> came. From. And then of course my name T, so Barbie T. Barbie T. We love it. I love it. And it fits you so perfectly. Um, so you are someone who you always put out, you know, the importance of like self-love. I see it on social medias uh, more um, on Facebook. So let's get into self-love and your journey to self-love. Okay. I love but first, this let me, well, let's, well, here, let's start with um, the moment you decided like, okay, I need to start loving myself more. I know I deserve more, you know, kind of like pin us down on that moment. And we'll okay. So we're going to, okay, uh, here recently, actually, you, cause it, it's a different, you, we, in life, you forget things and you mm -hmm. have to be reminded of those things. Like I said before, but first things first. So I was dating this asshole. Um, he told me <laughs> to my face that I didn't bring him nor his company any value. And let me tell you something because he probably is watching and I know you've been asking about me if I didn't bring you any value whatsoever quit asking about me <laughs> so when he told me that that hurt my feelings that crushed my soul so I said I know this blankety blank blank broke blank 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 did not sit here in my face looked me in my face and told me that I Barbie T, who he reached out to want to date, that I had no value. Mm -hmm. That hurt. That hurt. But the thing is, why am I supposed to bring value to your business? Because you're here for the wrong reasons, obviously. Um, so, yeah, she got value. It's tatted on my arm. Mm -hmm. Because every day, I need to remind myself, she got value. Every day, I need to wake up and remind you that you have value mm -hmm. and um so i i stuck with that that is definitely that is going to be my nonprofit. that is going to be the thing that i go out and bless the world with and bless women and, and even men y'all have value too but right mm -hmm. now it's about us so mm -hmm. um what i do to remind myself and 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 self-care and self-love what you really have to do is find out what makes you truly happy. What brings you joy? You, mm -hmm. like, and you have to love yourself. If you want the finer things in life, go get them. You get them. Everything I have in this apartment, honey, is mine. I pay for that. Can't nobody take that from me. That's not the only thing that brings me joy, but I know that I have my space and I got it myself on my own because I bust my ass because I know the value in me that that brings me happiness my space you know what I'm saying um going to get pampered feeling good a little retail therapy you know listening to music being in my living room in my space by myself and just dancing and listening to music that I love praise yeah. and worship that's self-care for me I love doing that I love doing community events where I'm giving back to my community. I love, I honestly, y'all, I love going to the soup kitchen. That is like my, that, I love it. I yeah. love it. You know what I'm saying? You just have to find those things that make you genuinely happy and like make your heart smile. 
and and don't forget that and here recently i poured myself into something else that didn't pour back into me and i mm. forgot i'm taking care of this 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 that i forgot to take care of me yeah that's why i feel so drained that's why my, i have no energy because i forgot to take care of me and i forgot to take care <laughs> of what was important to me and i forgot to feed myself you can't look for you can't look for somebody else to do that for you you can't mm -hmm. at the end yep. of the day you just cannot even though we want that we want that love we want that companionship and that you can't it has to come from within then you know whatever but <laughs> you you really gotta take care of yourself and that is so important i slacked off i slacked off i had to apologize to myself i had me effed up you know how we say, oh, you got me effed up. No, I had me effed up. Yeah. And I had to sit back and remember. And having a good group of friends and grown-ass women and empowering women that will remind you, girl, get on your stuff. The, the past week, I have gotten so close to so many women in the area. Like, and, But I manifested those relationships because I see those women and I'm like, Yo, I like how she moves. I like how she carries herself. Yo, I like how, her energy. God, put me around that. Like, I need that. I need to feed off that. I need that in my life. And it has come to life. Yeah. It has come to life. Like, yeah. I love those these women. And you need a different group of friends. Like, it's. I used to be so, I used to be the one where I'm like, ah, I don't fool with everybody, but, which I don't. But it's yeah. like, I'm open to new relationships. I'm always going to stay open to new relationships because you don't know how somebody's going to bless your life or how you're going to bless their life. Right. Just off, of, just off of a, a word, like, just from, from Jody boosting me up on here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's my girl. You know what I mean? I love her. Yeah. Girl. You need that support system. That's, that's one thing for me. That's self-care for me, having my time with my circle. Mm -hmm. Because we bounce off each other. We feed off each other. That energy... It's heavy, and you gotta have that, and you cannot let anybody distract you from that. Yeah, from care of you. You gotta know what keeps you going. Right, and like Uber Queen said, she just said it in the comments. She said you can't pour from an empty cup, and that is definitely a word. You really can't. You cannot. If this baby, not a big cup, you put it cool. in somebody else. <laughs> okay, my cup is full, baby. <laughs> but yeah, how can how can you do that? Like, why? You know, how do you? Give to somebody else when you don't even have any yourself to give. Like, All right? And shout yeah. out to her because she do it too. That, that's one of my go tos too. Whenever yeah. you gotta have that, those people that's always gonna uplift you because this mm -hmm. is how I see it. I am uplifting the world. The world is on my shoulders. That's something that God put me in place to do. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's women. It's women that I talk to every day. Like that tell me something that makes me want to break down and cry and I just pray for them and I feel like I, I and I always will uplift them and I always tell them look if you need me let me know or if I need to call somebody let me know but like I gotta have that too yeah we can't, I'm, not, I'm not superwoman I'm not superman I can't save the world I'm just only a vessel here put by through God to do whatever he wants me to do but I gotta have that support system too. I, I know now I realize how important that is to my life. I gotta mm -hmm. have the, that constant, those constant energies around me. I have to, in order right. for me to be able to give to the world. Yeah, sometimes you need people to check on, you know, if you have the strong friends, sometimes you need to be checked upon too, you know? Yeah, <laughs> strong I'm friends tired. do it all the time, you know? I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, thanks, y'all. I have some more new people in here. Hey, QL. Um, Hi. Drop your, your questions in the Q&A if you have any. Um, My comments ain't uploading. I, they're not refreshing, but whatever. Oh, really? I don't know. What's the last comment you got? Okay, well, I got you. Um, Brand New Living said facts. Uber Queen said yes, Queen. Your energy and ancestors. Yes, girl. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, girl. Um. We're going to go into some general questions, mm -hmm. some from uh, people that have sent me, like people that have uh, sent me questions before this live started. Um, so one of them asked, uh, on days you feel like giving up, what keeps you motivated and going? Honestly, um, I 
Uh, it may not be the best answer, but I'm gonna be real with you. Honestly, I don't want to fail people. Yeah, I don't want to fail. Most of all, I don't want to fail myself, but I do carry the weight of I don't want to fail other people. I don't want to fail my mother. I don't want to fail, um, you know, the people, my coworkers. Um, yeah. But I, I just don't want to be a failure in their eyes. I don't want to, you know, do that. But God keeps me going straight up. I, as as gangster as I am, I am ten times spiritual. Okay, like <laughs> I will get nothing buck with you, but I will also pray with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, we need a balance. It's okay. We <laughs> balance is healthy. <laughs> and I I really have I will have to say all the glory goes to God because if it wasn't for him, I would have been that up. Yeah. This past week, two weeks, whatever has been rough for me. Yeah. So it's like if it wasn't for God and my spirituality and friends and family and just <sighs> All that, like, child, you have to go to the Lord in prayer. You do. You really do. Like, I don't get, like, I, I want to ask people that don't believe in anything, what do you do? <laughs> Baby, I'm stressed. And I got okay. to somebody else. I got to give, I got to get at the God. Like, okay. take this before I pop off. Okay? <laughs> okay. <That's a> <laughs> um, the next one was, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I hope to be moved out to LA. I hope to be working in, in, in TV in the field. I hope to be having the body of my dreams. I hope to be, in five years, I'm not gonna say I hope to be, I will be. I will be living in LA. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do this manifest thing. Okay, so in five years, I will be in LA living. Um, I will be having a show of my own, TV show. I will have my nonprofit and my businesses flourishing. I will have my family. I will have my husband. Oh, he is great. I love you. Um, I will have all of that. Because I, I think in this world, women, we're told we have to choose between career or family life. Uh-huh. And even though, you know, I'm going to turn up queen, I do want uh, somebody to have me some baby someday if I don't have them. So mm -hmm. I want that. I do want a family. I do want to have all. I, I, I will have it all. And I think that it's okay for women to know that. Don't worry yeah. about your age. Don't. Because Beyonce, Kim Kardashian, um, Halle Berry, all those people had babies at an old age, older age, older than oh, normal age. Yeah, that's and then they so, ain't old. And what? And, and let me say this. And people say, "Oh, well, they got money." Okay, I'm gonna have money too. So I, you can have it. You can have kids. You don't have to have money to have kids. That's just. I mean, yeah, you do actually. But <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying? It's not like like it can be done. Right. If it's in God's will, it will be done. So mm -hmm. don't even worry or stress about that because that is a huge thing for a lot of women, especially a lot of Southern women in the yes. South. Can we can we normalize just being a badass woman and not having to go about the, the timeline of, oh, you're not ready to have kids. You're not ready to be married. No, yeah. I'm ready to live my life. Oh, right. <laughs> and I will. Yes. But at the same time, I will yeah. get that. Yeah, I will, I will get that. Now I'm yeah. getting into the like my feelings. I want to have a man, but I don't want to rush into children. You know what I'm saying? I right. want me, my husband, to enjoy our marriage, to enjoy each other before we bring some chat in the way. So <laughs> no, Girl. enjoy your life. Yes. Yeah. And if you don't want that, it's okay. It is okay not wanting a husband because child, they are headaches. That's another child in your household that you have to take care of. To be honest, my married friends will agree. So, <laughs> I and I being in relationships, girl, I have realized I mm, mm, y'all <laughs> men be pushing, but I would just say, women, you can have it all. You can have yep. it all and more. Absolutely. 
Um, and Stella, you have... can't too. I don't mean to shut y'all out, but. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yeah, that timeline thing needs to be emphasized. But I think a lot of us, you know, we do that, that comparison. Or it's like, I want this. You know, when I was younger, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be married and have kids by, like, 28. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Girl, I knew. <laughs> but I, I was knew, younger. Serena. I knew. I said, oh, not in my 20s. <laughs> but you know what? And that's still okay. And, that's and, still and, okay. And, oh, of course it's okay. Because guess what? In your 20s, you're broke. Who trying to have a family in their 20s? I mean, it's been done. Shout out to whoever's doing it. But to me, I don't want to be able to tell my child no. I don't want to have to tell my child no, that yeah. I can't do this because I can't afford something. I want to make sure, and you're not, it's not, life happens, I get it. But I want to make sure I'm at a place where I can be spiritually, emotionally, financially stable like, to have a marriage and a family that's healthy. Mm -hmm. I want that. I don't have to be a billionaire by the time I have a first baby. It would be nice. So let's go ahead and put it out there because I will be. But I don't have to be. Mm -hmm. I just want to be stable. I want to be mentally ready. I want to be emotionally ready. Like to have yes. that. And I thank God that I have not rushed into anything because yeah. I was not ready before. And I'm still not ready. Yeah. I'm getting there, but I'm not, I'm not there. Yeah, everybody's life is different. Everybody's journey and path is different. So mm -hmm. <laughs> we're not going to get there, y'all. It's, it's really okay. Um, uh, so you have a you know a good amount of followers on your Instagram page and really on all your social media platforms. What are you hoping that people take away um, from your platform and your brand? What do you um, want to take away? Anything is possible. You can do whatever it is. Like I I, I love encouraging people. Because honestly, it's something that I need myself. And a lot of my posts, I'm talking to myself. Mm -hmm. Don't know if anybody knows that, but I'm pop, I'm talking to myself. I have to boost myself to sometimes you just got to give yourself that extra push because that's what you need. Yeah. And, and I put it out there in a way that anybody that comes across my page can get that and can feel it and know that they can do it. Yeah. That's it. That's all I want. Like, and, and to also trust in God. Like, I'm not perfect. I, I will, I'm going to tell you now, I will cuss you out until you have a blessed day. Like, <laughs> that's just the real of it. But okay. I also want you to know that you better know how to fall on your knees in prayer, honey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so do we have any questions before I move on to the last little part of the game? I mean, of the game. <laughs> of the uh, interview. If you have any questions, ask them now, because I do want to play a game with Barbie. And I know, <laughs> I know she's going to do really well. Um, so oh, I'm no. give you about 30 to one, 30 seconds to a minute to hop them in there because it's 756. I do not want Instagram to cut us off because y'all know they will. <laughs> Instagram's so lame for that. They cut you off. Yeah. I wish, I think sometimes you can have like, uh, take the limit off, but I don't know how to do that. And I don't know, I don't have enough followers for that. All uh -huh. right. No questions. I didn't give y'all more than enough time. Barely. <laughs> But I just don't want us. I don't want it to get cut off. Okay. If they come well, up, if they come up, we'll just answer them as they come up. That's fine. Gotcha. Who is someone you want to interview that you haven't? Beyonce. What you mean? Period. Okay. What is your uh, biggest accomplishment so far? Um. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. I think my biggest accomplishment thus far. Um, is being syndicated, having a syndicated morning show on my first mother job. <laughs> That's it. All right. More to come. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna jump into the game. So I'm gonna play a game. I haven't put a name on it, but I just think it'll be fine. So if you know Barbie T, you know she loves uh, lives for the Queen B, Beyonce. Okay. So what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna read you lyrics from Beyonce's songs, and I want you to name the song. I'm not gonna sing it. I'm not gonna give you a tune. I'm just gonna read it. Okay. okay. All right. And go. Hold on. Let me let me uh get my thing up. I look and stare so deep in your eyes. I touch on you more and more every time. When you leave, I'm begging you not to go. 
Call your name two, three times in a row. Such a funny thing for me to try to explain. How I'm feeling ain't bothering me. It's not on the same. Got me looking so crazy right now. Your love got me looking so crazy right now. That's awesome. You yes. love it. Crazy in love. And those who also don't know Barbie T, she can, uh, she can sing, just so you know. Child. That's me, honey. She can hold a tune now. She can hold a note. Okay, Crazy in Love. You got it. All right. Where's my next song? Let's see. All right. Yo, they're playing hard. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but my neighbor's upstairs. They're a band. And they're playing music. They're probably doing a live right now, too. I love it. I love my space, y'all. <laughs> I just love that. Everybody's just so artsy. We just, I just love it. <laughs> okay. Darn, I lost it. Hold on. All right. Up in the club. Just broke up. Doing my own little thing. Scotty dip. Boy, you want to trip. When another brother noticed me. Okay, single ladies, what's up? <laughs> Y'all see how hard she going for Beyonce? I really hope you meet her. Like, it has to happen. Uh, it has to happen. I really it will. Don't. It's going to happen because I already have her signature. I have a book signed by her. So it's going to happen. She's already Girl. in the Oh, let me tell you. When I was in L.A., I met the dude who tutored her in math when she was, you know, coming up. Yeah, I met him. Mm -hmm. So I, I met a piece of Beyonce. So it's happening. Mm -hmm. It's happening for sure. You know what? what I, met, I met a piece of Beyonce too. I met Michelle. Oh, see? It's happening. Hallelujah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. These are too easy because it's like Beyonce. Like, how do you? Nah, -uh, just say them. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, let's see. These are too easy. You're gonna get all of them. All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do one. All right, every boy in here with me got that smoke, and every girl in here got to look me up and down. Falling on something about a cake by the pound. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, hold on, keep. Singing. I need to catch it. Why is uh, 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 y'all say y'all on his mouth like liquor? Y'all say y'all on his mouth like liquor, like like liquor, like 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 liquor. What's the song? I need the song. Uh, y'all say. It's called Yonce. Drop the bass, right? lay the bass, get lower. Radio say <laughs> speed it up. I just go slower. I'm not supposed to be helping you. So you're welcome. It's Yonce. Partition. Partition, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know the song, okay? <laughs> you have to name the song. All right, one more for the road. Let's see. I don't know which one I want to give you. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Um, No, I'll give this away, but that's fine. I think this is a good one to end on. She says she really grew up poor like me. Don't believe in nothing but the almighty. Just a little jeans and a pure white tea. She never did for, she never did forever be nobody wifey, yeah. Brown skin girl. Hey. You look just like brown. The it's best thing in the world. I never trade you for anybody else singing. <laughs> yeah, so you won. You got all of them, which I knew you were because it's, I mean, it's you and then it's Beyonce. It's the queen. Two queens, I mean, how could you not win, you know? <laughs> Beyonce, yo, I really like that with B. Like, I cannot wait because I can, whenever I get my little closet of clothes from Beyonce, y'all ain't going to be able to tell me nothing, okay? I'm just letting Listen. you know right now. I'm going to be acting brand new, all right? <laughs> Right, and just let me have my time, okay? Just let just me have, have my time. time. You don't have I'm gonna time. be acting brand new. Don't come up and try to touch my garment. <laughs> no, she did. No, she did not. <laughs> it's gonna be me and B. I'm gonna. I, I already think I'm Beyonce, child. So, but when I get her blessing, it's mm. gonna be on another level. I'm telling you, girl. Y'all better stop being friends with Barbie now, or getting in where you fit. Ah! Applications are closed. <laughs> 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 Woo, you so funny. Okay. Um, 
Well, do we have any more questions before um, we close out the interview? Any more? Any more? Pop on in here. Huh? I was I was saying, do we have any more questions? If they do, most of the people in here know me like that. I think. Yeah, I think so too. I think. I think. I love you guys. Thank y'all so much for the support. All twenty one of y'all in here. Word. Okay, love to see it. <laughs> Beyonce in here. She be watching me. <laughs> Beyonce, no, Haki, Beyonce do be watching. She be watching. She does. We think she'll she be on does. social media, but she's be on social media. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, there's another thing. So, okay, when me and my best friend Asia went to the Beyonce concert, mm -hmm. her cameras were in our face. We were on the front row. We paid a lot of money to be on that front <laughs> row on the VIP. Mm -hmm. And her cameras were in our face. So, I will be on one of Beyonce's. Um, documentaries you know, or something. Documentaries, something. Yeah. You gonna see me, yeah. girl, <laughs> fanning out, acting the fool. Okay. On Beyonce's documentary, so I don't know when it's gonna come out, but we'll see. <laughs> well, no, no questions. So I just want to take the time to thank you, Barbie T, my sister. Thank you, um, um, for Probably doing this with me. Thank you, girl, um, for doing this with me of and course. just sharing your light and, you know, positivity and just telling us the importance of self-love. Please keep doing what you're doing. We need, everyone needs a Barbie tea in our life, okay? Oh. She's going to give you all of the nuck if you buck and all of the let's pray together. And that's what we need, a healthy balance. Nuck if you buck, love, peace, and hair grease. And, Here uh, you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> but do you have any, any, any uh, lasting words? of advice or just you know anything you, on your heart um get to know what your true love is whether it's self-love or just love in general know what love is for you mm -hmm. stay true to that and don't let anybody alter that no matter what and stay true to yourself Continue to love yourself and give love and spread love because that's what we need right now. Mm -hmm. The world is in shambles and it's a shit bag, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but pretty ghetto. But... Continue to just give love. I promise it's going to come back. Even when I don't think it's coming back, I know it's coming back. Mm -hmm. It's going to come back tenfold. And don't worry about nobody doing you wrong because they will get theirs. Okay. You, you, you are protected and blessed, and know that. So, yes, I receive it. I hope those who have joined received it. I thank everyone for coming on here, Barbie. Thank you again, girl. Much love to you. Thank you, Karina. I'm so proud of you, Karina. Let me say this: I'm so proud of you. I'm, I'm so happy. I pray that you would just come into your own light, into your own. You know, it, you took a while to figure out what she was wanting to do. You know that. That's it. And you have done it. You have found your niche and continue to walk in your light and walk like the queen you are. Continue. Yeah. For real. Because real. you on it. You on it. You on it. Don't even, don't even doubt it. Like dead ass. Like this is sister to sister talking to you. Don't yeah. even doubt it. You got it. Don't worry about nothing. Because Barbie T ain't going to be here forever. So somebody else going to have to come in and intercede. So get ready. Pass me the torch, sis. I will. I will. Yeah. Always. Well, thank you again. Oh, that makes me That makes me so good. Thank I'm you. So good. You. For real. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> y'all see this? Women Empowerment. I told y'all. Barbie's the one. All right. I don't want this thing to cut us off. So again, thank you, Barbie. I love you. Those who are in here, I hope you grab some sort of gem, some some form of inspiration um, somewhere. And thank you all for tuning in. Stay tuned for episode seven of Kicking It With Karina. I'm your host, and I am signing out. Have a Bye. good night, Barbie. Bye. Bye, y'all.